I can speak English, but before I say anything, I have to make a sentence in my native language, translate that into English, and then say it. I feel like I'm not speaking fluently because of this. That is one of the most common complaints I hear from my students. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you three exercises that will help you to stop translating in your head. These exercises will make you think 100% in English and speak fluently without hesitation. So let's jump right into it. Here is exercise number one. Make sentences in your head. This is the number one fastest way to start thinking in English. Throughout your day, make sentences about what is happening around you. For example, let's say that you're sitting on the bus and you're going somewhere. In your head, you can start talking in English. I like the seat. It's nice and comfortable. Look at that couple sitting over there. What are they doing? They look very happy. They're joking and laughing about something. Anyway, let's look out the window. Oh, what a beautiful park. I wish I could visit it sometime, and so on. You can do this in any situation, when you're at home, when you're bored at work or school, when you're waiting at the doctor's office, when you're walking in the park, and so on. And it will train your brain to make sentences in English. Now, while you are doing this, if you start translating, it's okay. Don't get disappointed, because as you keep practicing, you will collect more and more sentences for everyday situations. And over time, you will translate less. Remember to do this exercise many times every day. Make it a habit to regularly make sentences in your head. Exercise number two is prepare sentences for conversations. For this exercise, think about a conversation that you are going to have in the future and come up with sentences that you can use. For example, if there's going to be a meeting in your workplace tomorrow, what would be some useful sentences? Well, if you're going to present an idea to your colleagues, you might say, I strongly believe this will help our sales. Aha, keep that in mind to use tomorrow. Maybe you have a colleague, let's say his name is Teddy, and he always interrupts you while you talk. If he does that tomorrow, you can say, hold on Teddy, let me finish. There's another sentence. In this way, for upcoming conversations, you can prepare a lot of sentences and have them in your mental store. And you can, even, you can even write them down to review later. As you do this exercise more and more, you will be able to use these sentences in many future conversations automatically without thinking too much. So take time to regularly prepare sentences for conversations.